Hello again, YouTube. My name is Maureen, and welcome to Reen Reads. Um, I'm looking like a hot mess right now, but I'm going to be doing another review. Um, let me adjust this thing on my lap. Um, I'm doing another review, and my review is on the book of Imaginary Beings by Jorge Luis Borges. Um, my Spanish is terrible, but um, Borges inspired. Um, you know, a lot of um, fantasy writers that are out right now, especially Neil Gaiman, and I love Neil Gaiman, so I wanted to finally read something of Boris, and this book is really, really cool. It's a quick read. Um, I read it cover to cover, although it's not meant to be read that way. It's re it's meant to be like, you know, you pick it up, um, you can look at like the different, um, you know, the different entries in there. It's pretty much like an encyclopedia, goes from A to Z. Um, and it, uh, explores different, um, fantastical creatures. They go through banshees. They go through, um, different kinds of dragons, the phoenix, um, you know, different, all different kinds of, um, fantastical creatures through all different cultures, all different religions. Uh, it's actually really cool. Um, the way I've described it is a book, a fiction book written like nonfiction about fictional characters, if that makes any kind of sense. Um, it is really quick. Uh, it's less than 200 pages. Um, there's even different um, illustrations in there, so you guys can see that. Um, I think it's really cool. Um, Boris cites um, the Koran, the Bible. Um, different writings about Buddhism, um, different writings about um, other fantastical creatures. It's just really, really cool, especially if you like fantasy books. Um, then you get like a little background of where these different, um, you know, fantasy creatures came from, um, you know, like their origins, like in story. Um, they also talk about Greek and Roman, you know, creatures. It's a really, really cool read. Um, I think this is a textbook, like probably for like a lit class or something like that. I can actually put this book down. I'm like waving it around. Um, you know, I think people use it as a textbook. I will definitely keep this book, um, especially if I read more fantasy and be like, oh, I forget where, you know, I forget where the Lilith, where Lilith came from, even though I know she's from the Bible. But, you know, I can look it up and get a little background on it. Um, but yeah, that's Boris. I would recommend this to anybody who reads fantasy books. Um, I would recommend this to anybody who likes Neil Gaiman, um, which is pretty much all of the world. I really haven't met a person who hasn't liked Neil Gaiman. Um, but besides that, uh, yeah, I would recommend it. It was a quick read. I read this in like a day and a half, probably within three train rides, three 40 minute train rides, I read this book. So I would definitely suggest it. Um, I got it off Amazon used. Um, you can probably find it for really cheap there. So yeah. The book of Imaginary Beings. I would definitely read it. All right, YouTube. Until we meet again.